So I've been doing this channel long enough to be able to really know, probably, <coughs> what all the excuses um, quacks and quack supporters give and arguments they give about why Big Pharma is evil, um, why doctors are idiots, and basically why you really should be going to a guy who will prescribe you uh, dandelion water. I've probably heard just about all the arguments there are going, however, there's one, and there's always this one pervasive. Now, it's not very common um, I hear this, because it is so easy to debunk. So, what is the argument you may be asking? Well, the argument goes like this, and it is also peddled, I'd like to point out, by anti-vaxxers as well because it has to do with vaccines. In fact, not only this, but they've also, as we've said, lumped it into the, to the uh, Big Pharma conspiracy as well, because this is an attempt to prove that all our medical advances that we have made, um, really, over the past uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, 60, you can keep on going, are for nothing. They were completely wrong because people weren't paying attention to sanitation. Yes. The argument you will commonly hear from these people, and it's very rare you hear it, but it's, you will get it, is basically this. They basically make the claim that vaccines like measles, the measles vaccine, uh, was not what got rid of measles, it was sanitation that got rid of measles. Now, this is absolutely false to begin with. First of all, uh, they disregard um, any dates of vaccine programs. And you can go on and you can look for the entire history of UK vaccination programs. They discount these completely. What you will get is a graph that basically shows um, death by, uh, deaths of measles from, I think it's something like the late um, 1800s right through to modern times. And quite rightly, you basically see a graph starting high at the top and then it goes literally next to nothing as we are you know, now. Now, they basic, their basic claim is this, that it wasn't measles vaccines, it was sanitation. Because somehow, sanitation cleaned everything up. Now, for things like cholera, this is certainly true. However, um, some of you probably have already said, well, hang on, uh, measles is an airborne disease, and for those people, you are exactly right. How can sanitation supposedly deal with an airborne disease? Remember, measles is spread by coughing and sneezing of the infected person and can stay in that airspace for up to two hours. That's how long it can live outside a human... the virus can live outside a human body. Of course, Sanitation only applies to water and, you know, that type of thing. So, when people show charts of cholera, then yes, but when you see these charts of measles, they completely and utterly ignore, as I've said, the full vaccination. Just go, just go on Google, um, history of um, mass vaccinations in the UK. And you will see um, pretty much dating all the way back to Edward Jenner and his smallpox vaccine all the way up to current day. And they completely um, refuse to add these. In fact, the graph they show, and this is how really stupid they are, because a graph is a showing information. And basically what this graph shows is you have... Deaths on one side, years on the bottom. And then you have a line that tracks them. Where on this lag, on this graph, or in these, you know, 
lines, where is this data to show that sanitation is having an effect on measles? Now, remember, sanitation mainly um, helped to solve the problem of waterborne uh, viruses and illnesses like cholera. However, remember, measles is an airborne virus. That's how it spreads. How does sanitation affect an airborne virus? And that's literally how you respond to them when you say that. But And then you get the usual kicking and screaming of stuff. It's just, oh, uh, but yeah. This is another ridiculous argument that gets brought from time to time, but it's you don't see it very often, but when you do, just literally reply to them, how does sanitation, which is, again, to do with water, solve the problem of an airborne virus? So, that's that little uh, <laughs> debunking for the day.